Aunt Jemima, may she rest in peace. Mm. You, want some, you want some white sugar, baby? I want some brown sugar. Give it to me. Give it. Mm. We have that type of relationship, that type of rapport. It's okay. No more Aunt Jemima. Pearl Milling Company, same coloration, same branding, more or less, you know, in terms of the subliminal nature of the red and the yellow, but it won't be Aunt Jemima on the cover, no. And I, I had this idea of a skit going to the grocery store and having, you know, a woman who's black, who's okay with the, with the you know, the whole skit, like, just like, where, where, where am I? Where, where, per, per, Pearl Milling Company, I do declare, child. This ain't good. This is awful. Why are they doing this to me? But Ben Ben, why are they doing this to me? Ben, ben? They're doing it because they think that it's racist. But this is who I am. I understand. Well, where's Uncle Ben? They got rid of him too. No, child. No, Uncle Ben. Oh, so handsome like Denzel. I know. I know he is. But you know, the 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 woke people felt that it's just not logical that a chef from you know, old timey times could possibly be a small business owner and black. So they said it was racist, which I actually think is racist. Don't you? No way Uncle Ben could possibly have existed in real life. That's a caricature. Why don't you just look it up? Uh, books are lies. Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, that's about book burning in the pre Shut up. Shut your mouth when you talk to me. It's true though, Uncle Ben got rid, they got rid of him too. And he's real. It's not, it's not a caricature. I, 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 I hoarded up on these. Look. Like hoarding is like the like a, a very carefully curated way of being crazy, but collectibles is is different. I, I don't know if I'll keep them. I bet it'll be a thousand dollars or something each in like a fifty years. Lots of that getting through three or four different moves and six divorces. I don't think I'm still thinking I'm get done. If you want them, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll send them to you. Happy to do it on my Patreon. I think it's like the Aunt Jemima subscription or something. Like I'll give you like content, mention your name and stuff like that. I'll sign these for you and send them to you. Just join. Patreon, check it out, in the bottom. Smash that like button. Love me, love me, say that you love me. I know that you need me. I don't care about anything but you, and you, and also you, other subscriber, and you. Um, but yeah, this is bizarre. I, I, I don't really, it's, it's a social engineering mechanism, like terraforming of crazy wokeness. It's nothing to do with like, people actually care. I've never met someone who's like, you know, my mom used to use Aunt Jemima syrup. I used to tell her that's wrong. When was this? 15 years ago? Really? You told your mom that was racist? Yeah, I did. I said that that's racist. In what context did you think it was racist? It doesn't matter, Ben Ben. I know it's racist. Okay? Don't talk to me that way. I told my mother and she's a little whore and she wouldn't get new syrup. Like, what other syrup would you use? I don't know. Log Cabin? Mrs. Butterworth? That's a, you know, well, Mrs. Butterworth kind of has that same kind of rotund. Are you fat shaming? Mrs. Butterworth is, a, it, it's ambiguous. She could be a heavy set woman that's Beautiful and white. You don't know. I guess you're right. It seems like a knockoff though of Auntie. Shut up, Ben Ben. Racist. <sighs> this is where we are. Corporatism is afraid of a mob that isn't real. It's just on the internet. It makes you wonder, is it really there? Or is it being pushed by other corporate? What if you like, what is that, the, 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 the guy that was trying to, it was going on all the message boards when Whole Foods was, not called Whole Foods. There was a comp competitor called Wild Oats, or that was Wild Oats was Whole Foods. Anyway, the competitor to Whole Foods was going on trashing Fresh Fields. Wild Oats was the other one. Fresh Fields is the old name for Whole Foods. And he was going online on the message board talking shit about, uh, acting like a customer, about Fresh Fields, which is now Whole Foods. Did I, did I get 50? And then now it's also Amazon Whole Foods. He was doing the same thing. What's to stop companies from like, subversively undermining their competition through like seemingly, you know, oh, let's just create a bot of 55 different people with at least, you know, let's give them tenure. Let's do this in advance so it looks organic. Start creating profiles and trashing brands that compete with us and calling them racist. That's a good idea. Why not? Corporate espionage in the most legitimate place in the world, social media, where everyone just follows along. Cracker Barrel 
is under fire for a fake story from someone that could have just been the same deal. Not that I think there's anyone competing with Cracker Barrel like McDonald's got together. You know, our margins are fucking Cracker Barrel. You know, all these kids are going on field trips, side of road in random rural places like Middleburg, Virginia. We have to cake out Cracker Barrel. What are we going to do? There's a whip. There's a whip in the, in the logo. And there's a barrel. It's a barrel of crackers. White people. Crackers. Whips. Black people. Racism. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got money to go to the strip club tonight. I want a bonus. $55,000. Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, but that, that, that's the thing. This guy came up with this fake idea that the barrel on the picture in the logo is a bunch of whips that uh, white people use. And because it has this old-timey, like, southern thing to it, cracker barrel, this guy that Oh, it's racist. And this is about... This is, this is about cracking whips on, on, on slaves. It's not true. The Cracker Barrel is just like a table for eating barrels of crackers, and maybe some cheese, maybe a nice bottle of Chianti. I don't know, it's just like, why would that take, like, uh, like people grab onto that? Well, they would because it's the angst, they like this. Oh my God, that black baby was shot 35 times. The police officer thought he was just selling crack. That's, that police officer should be killed. So should his children. <sighs> I hope that happens. Oh man, is the new Tyler Perry movie out? Let's go. So yeah, it's just like weird. I, it's, it's very like synthetic. How do you know the Twitter trending topics are real? How do you know anything about the algos that you see every day? Oh, this is, this is what's real. This is what people are thinking about. I better inform myself. If I'm not part of this or don't agree with this, you feel less than, you feel like ostracized. You feel alienated. And the only connection you can get is through the internet now with this pandemic going on. And it further emphasizes this point, like I don't want to feel lonely and like kind of like isolated. I better just join the crowd. It's helped push everything forward. The watering hole for Scuttlebutt, you know, local store, I oh, can't go to the store because of the pandemic.